Hey traders, hopefully you're having a good weekend and you had a good trading week. In this week's market, there was a lot of blood, a lot of people lost a lot of money because the market basically went crazy. Now, we're not just saying this because we see it from the charts. Uh, we also talked to our brokers and uh, we have the oversight on uh, how other trading accounts are doing and it's really a sea of red. So hopefully you are safe and it's also a good lesson as to why uh, you should try to stay out of this kind of conferences event as much as possible. Now, since this has happened this week, I thought, you know, I just take a couple of minutes today just to record this short video to show you what actually happened in the market. And I want to give you some tips as to how to avoid this, this kind of movement or if you really want to trade uh, what you should be paying attention to. So you can see that uh, this week we had the uh, Jackson Hole and we had the uh, Fed Chairman Powell and the BOC and the BOE speeches. Basically a lot of speeches. Now previously I've talked about why conferences events are events which you do not want to be trading as much as possible. So if you have not watched that video, right, check it out. Okay, I'll leave a link at the top right. So definitely check that out because uh, that video talks a lot about, um, uh, gives you a good understanding of the two kinds of economic data and which are the kinds that you want to stay out of. So in today's uh, Forex tips video, I want to show you how do you use news as part of your trading strategy. Okay, I'm not teaching you a full-blown strategy. I just want to show you how to incorporate uh, this kind of news event uh, into your trading strategy or into your technical analysis. So I'll give you three pro tips today. Okay, first one uh, will be how, uh, why you should avoid the first move. Okay, I'll go into the charts to show it to you. Then pro, num pro tip number two is how to use the high low technique uh, to map out the key levels. During high, high impact news uh, like this, conferences, uh, the market usually reveals important levels. So if you are sharp, you are able to pick out these levels, it can drastically help you in your analysis. Then I'll go through the last pro tip. Uh, this is an advanced tip, so just a warning. Uh, if you are not yet a proficient trader or you're still new, uh, please do not trade this. Do not, uh, do not uh, apply this yet because you're not ready for it. Okay, the last tip is how do you trade the fake out and you profit uh, from trap traders. By the way, if you're new to this channel, we create a lot of Forex videos like this to serve you. Okay, we create a video almost every single day. So really appreciate if you just take three seconds of your time to like uh, this video and hit the subscribe button. We also have prepared a free day trading guide for you. If you need a full strategy step-by-step, -step, that is provided in our free day trading guide. So make sure you get that uh, if you have not. Okay, it's totally free. There's no catch. So let's move into uh, tip number one. I'll change uh, my screen into the uh, charts so that uh, we can talk about pro tip number one. So pro tip number one involves avoiding the first move. Now, in a news event, the first move is usually uh, the false move, meaning that it is a fake movement. So let me show it to you over here. So right now we are at a pound dollar and I just mapped out uh, this, uh, this candle over here. Let me just bring it up. And I'm looking at this candle here. So this is a news event that uh, price went up and went down. So what do I mean by um, avoiding the first move? So you can see that price actually went up first. And what price did when it go up is that people who bought would have put their stop loss below uh, probably this low, uh, this support or put below here. So you want to avoid the first uh, movement because the market tends to trap uh, a lot of traders who try to catch this breakout here. So what price did was it comes back down over here to stop uh, whoever who bought somewhere here or breakout traders over here. So if you look back into other uh, conferences events, this Phenomena uh, is usually true. It doesn't happen all the time, but it happens uh, quite often. Now you do don't do not have to trade it, right? If 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 you are you know you are still new, you do not have to trade it. But what I'm trying to tell you is that you want to avoid trading breakouts during conferences. Okay, this is very important. You want to avoid trading breakouts during conferences. Do not be emotional when you see price start moving and you start trying to chase the market. So what happens is that all the traders who bought over here, hopefully you are not one of them. Right? I really hope that uh, you are not one of those traders who bought somewhere here. Uh, if, if you have bought here and you put your stop loss here, you have gotten stop out. And what happens after that is price goes up and uh, moves in your direction. 
So you always want to avoid the first move. Uh, at, at the end of this video, I will tell you how to profit uh, from this move. But again, that's more advanced stuff. So I'll uh, just wait for that. The next thing that uh, pro tip that I have for you, it's uh, how do you use the high-low technique to map out uh, the key levels? So the high-low technique is very simple. What you want to do is you want to identify the candle, uh, the news event candle, which in this case will be some, somewhere here. So I'm on this hourly chart, so I'll just look at this one here. And you want to map out the low and high. So the high-low technique is just uh, mapping out the high and the low. So in this case, you have the high here and you have the low over here. So what does this mean? Think of it this way, during a high, high impact news conference, speech, the market has maximum volatility. There are a lot of traders who are also trading, uh, you know, because they, they, they are trying to chase the market. So what this means is that this level is the maximum strength of the, uh, the bears, meaning that bears are pushing the hardest at, from here and uh, bulls are buying over here. So you can use these levels to trade. So let's say after this news event, you could have uh, potentially bought somewhere off here. And if let's say price comes up here, you can either look for a sell or you can look for a buying opportunity at the top. Again, this is just to map out the levels. I'm not saying that uh, you blindly uh, just buy or sell. You still need to do your full analysis. Okay, that is being taught to you in our three day trading guide, the MPE strategy. So in this case, let's say you were to apply the MPE trading strategy, which stands for market condition, price level and entry, then your market condition would be bullish and you want to be buying. You wouldn't be looking at selling at this level. Instead, you'll be waiting for price to break out above this level and then uh, come back down to this level to buy it off support rather than to sell off resistance since uh, the market condition is bullish. So this is the second pro tip I have for you, very straightforward. Just map out the high and the low and just watch the reaction at the bottom or top. Now, depending on the market condition, then you want to enter your trade accordingly. So in this case, I would have leaned towards a buying, look for entry somewhere uh, around the candle low and you know just buy up and that's a very nice trade for you. Now I want to go through the last tip. Okay, the last tip is how do you trade the fake out and uh, profit on trap traders? This is an advanced technique. So just a uh, you know, gentle warning that um, if you are still struggling, please do not attempt this, but uh, you can try to understand the psychology behind uh, this technique. So in pro tip number one, I mentioned that you want to avoid the first move up. Uh, which is basically this move up. So what happens is that a lot of uh, retail traders, they put their stop loss somewhere here. So where they put their stop loss is also where you're going to enter because when they get stop out, they are essentially um, selling their trades to you because they bought somewhere here, they're trying to sell it here and if they're trying to sell, you are buying from them. So you are basically trying to profit from them. When you see the first fake movement, you want to watch out for uh, the, the lows and you want to buy off the low some, somewhere over here. So this is how you profit uh, from the tra traders. Very straightforward to understand in concept, but it's not easy for you to do. So if you're still struggling, please do not do this. Okay, so what I want to do next is I just want to go through one more example to show you. Just to show you uh, all three tips again. So right now we're looking at gold, same thing. Uh, you have this candle over here, this entire candle here. Let me just map it up for you. This candle here. Okay, this is clearer. So same thing, you want to avoid the first move. So you can see the same thing if you had traded the breakout and you put your stop loss somewhere below here. Again, same thing, you would have lost money. Same thing, okay, very straightforward. Uh, you always want to avoid the first move. Okay, I'll just shift this down. That is pro tip number one. Pro tip number two is that uh, you want to use the high-low technique. So in this case, uh, you can just map out the spike high and you map out the spike low, okay? So again, you can see that when price broke the low, there was some form of um, resistance acting uh, as resistance, this level acting as resistance. But however, I would say that we are still more in a uh, uptrend. And this is kind of like an inverted head and shoulder, left shoulder, head, right shoulder. So uh, I wouldn't be selling over here. Okay, so this also demonstrates why it's very important for you to do a full analysis and not just trade off these levels. Okay, so what happens that after price broke above uh, this candle spike high and spike low, um, you can see there's a very nice ride up all the way here, from here to here. So this is how you do it. And uh, over here you have resistance. So currently price is aging towards this level. Uh, I do not know whether this level will hold, but I do know that uh, the bias is uh, up 
meaning that's bullish and the market structure is bullish. So I will not be keen on selling here. I'll be more keen towards uh, looking uh, to for something like this. Let me try it. For it to break and do a retest and then I'll buy it up. Okay, something like this. So that's number two. Uh, pro tip number three, it's uh, people who bought here, they probably have their stop losses here, somewhere below here. In this case, uh, the, the fake out was quite wide, okay, the, the price penetrated quite deep. So depending on how you manage your trade, okay, a better place to put your stop loss will be below this level. Since we have our institutional buying over here. Okay, again, this is very advanced. I don't really expect you to fully understand it, but uh, I just want to drive home the point that uh, whenever there's a first uh, first break, um, first movement up, you want to avoid it. And if you want to catch the subsequent movement, you can try, okay? Uh, and you want to map out the high and low. So that's the three tips I have for you today. I uh, hope this is clear. Of, of course, if you have any questions, uh, we love to, uh, you know, Help you just let us know in the comment section uh, if you need any help okay right please give us a thumbs up right because we really uh want to grow this channel we want to help you and help other traders like you so really appreciate you just take three seconds to like this video right hit the subscribe button okay if not thanks for watching hope you have a good weekend i'll see you in the next video